In this video, we're going to talk about even and odd numbers. So if you have a problem like this one that says, is there an even or odd number of rectangles? And the way you can figure out if something is even or odd is if it can be matched in pairs. And pairs just mean by twos, right? So there's two here. Um, and then we need to understand the definition of odd. So an odd number cannot be matched in pairs. So for this particular one, uh, these cannot be matched in pairs because there's one left over. So if we match these two together, these make a pair. This doesn't have a pair, it's by itself. So we know then that 3 is an odd number. Another way to look at this is if you look at a number line. So if we take a look at this number line, um, we can figure out which ones are the even or odd. So I will just point these out to you now, but it'll make a little bit more sense as we move through uh, the grade 2 videos. Um, you'll be able to easily understand odds and evens. So as we said, even numbers can be matched in pairs. So one cannot be matched in a pair. So this is odd. Two can be matched in pairs. So this is even. And the way it works is it alternates that way. So this is odd, this is even. 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 So you'll notice that the ones that are even are the ones that you can skip count by two. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and so on. And don't worry if you don't understand this right away, just rewind the video and play it again until it makes sense.